What's good y'all? Welcome back to another reaction on this channel, man. Today we are in tune for another very interesting topic of conversation, man. Listen, before we get into this video, I want to say a couple things. First and foremost, bro, I really hope you guys are taking care of yourself. And when I say that, I mean I hope you guys are protecting your energy from this demonic-ass spiritual war that we're going through, okay? Hope you guys are praying, meditating, going outside, getting nature. And I mean that truly because that is the most powerful source of positive energy. Just by standing outside and absorbing some of that vitamin D, the sun. Great source of energy. But today we are in tune for another very, very interesting topic, okay? For the past couple of days, I've been receiving DMs on DMs <laughs> with this picture right here, bro. Now, we talk about this demonic-ass agenda that these celebrities are pushing all of the time. And this right here just goes to show you that when I talk about this agenda, I do not talk about it figuratively. I mean it literally, bro. Yesterday, we reacted to a video where an artist was doing voodoo to escape a life sentence. The spiritual world is real, and we are currently amidst a spiritual war. And this just goes to show you exactly that. We have Lil Uzi Vert right here, not only pushing this demonic agenda, but literally embodying the devil himself. I want you to pay attention to this picture. Literally through symbols, you can clearly see what the fuck he's supposed to be representing in this image right here. Devil horns and all of that. After I saw this picture, I had to do a little bit deeper dinking, okay? Everybody always knew Lil Uzi to be that rock star lifestyle, always throwing up weird shit, questionable stuff. And I always just thought that that was his image. <laughs> but that's exactly that. I come to realize that Lil Uzi is not just a rock star that he claims to be, but yet a puppet for this demonic agenda. Now, when I speak about the demonic agenda, I simply mean artists are simply put in place images through music videos, lyrics, song lyrics, movies, comedians, jokes, all of these things to make you more accepting of what sin is. I want you to pay attention. Lust, greed, all of the seven deadly sins that are listed in the Bible are what's being exploited in today's society with the hopes of turning as many souls away from God and to Satan. That's exactly why everything being pushed through the entertainment industry has demonic ties. Now we're about to break it down. The first number one sign that showed me that Lil Uzi is a part of this demonic agenda was his most my boy, his most viral music video on YouTube. I want you to pay attention to this shit right here, bro. I had to mute it because copyright, but pay attention. Pay attention to the imagery, bro. Now, for those of you who don't know, for those of you who are watching this video in silence, I speak to you guys all of the time about how these artists are put through these bloodbath rituals, okay? How they're literally always shown images of taking a bloodbath or submerging themselves in a black in a bathtub, literally as an initiation. They are literally being reborn the same way Christians and Catholics are baptized when they're first entering the church. Is the same way these artists on multiple occasions have been baptized in the name of Satan once their career starts off. Once their career takes off, once they're now an A-list celebrity, a well-known mogul in the music industry. They always have some type of shit going on behind closed doors that people don't recognize. Pay attention. This right here is that bloodbath ritual that I was speaking about in multiple videos. Check this out, bro. On his most viewed music video. <laughs> this is his most viewed music video right here, bro. EXO Tour Life. Most viral. Look at the way he comes out the water almost as if it's like something something else is possessing him, bro. This is not a this is not a game and this is not a joke. I want you to pay attention. He also has the symbol of the Antichrist. It's an upside down cross that literally symbolizes the opposite of what Jesus Christ Jesus Christ died on the cross. The upside down cross literally symbolizes the Antichrist. What is opposite of the Christ? The devil. Okay? Now let's continue. After watching this clip right here, I already knew for a fact that he is now participating in this demonic agenda. He is now a puppet. But as it continued, I have to see what more he has to show us. In almost every single live concert performance, you can look right here, bro. I literally just put Lil Uzi upside down live performance, and this is what comes up. Lil Uzi showing off his upside down, his antichrist chain in this music video. We have this live performance. And yes, there are a couple that overlap, like this one overlaps and this one overlaps. But pay attention to the background in this, upside down crosses, upside down crosses. The devil symbol right here. Once again, upside down crosses on his earrings and his chain. Like, right here, multiple antichrist uh, uh, crosses. Like, 
And it goes on and on and on. And Billy Eilish has been another topic of conversation. Like once again, right here, the Antichrist, all of his performance include fire. All of his performances include some type of demonic. I was doing so much research related to Lil Uzi, bro. You can literally look up on YouTube Lil Uzi live performances, and you can literally spot all of the demonic symbolisms in his in his live performance more often than not, okay? And this just goes on and on and on. He literally wears it all of the time, bro. But honestly speaking, the most interesting piece of information that I found about Lil Uzi was this right here. I came across this interview where Lil Uzi speaks on loving Marilyn Manson, bro. He literally is idolizing who Marilyn Manson is and what he stands for. In this interview, he acknowledges the fact that Marilyn Manson is a known Satanist. He acknowledges the fact that Marilyn Manson has already been deemed to be evil in the eyes of society because of all of his satanic ties. But then, yet and still, Lil Uzi took it upon himself to get an entire chain dedicated to Marilyn Manson. <laughs> My boy, that's not the weirdest part. I want you to pay attention <laughs> to the caption. It literally says Lucifer Rising, and Marilyn Manson reposted this. Took a screenshot off of Uzi page and reposted this. Now this is creepy, some people might say this is a reach, but I really want you to say Lil Uzi Vert's name fast. And tell me it doesn't sound like Lucifer. Lucy Vert. Lucy Vert. Lucy Vert. Lucifer. Lucifer. Like, that may be a drag. But like I always tell you guys, when too many coincidences line up, you have to take it for the truth, my boy. This is no longer something that's being hidden in plain sight. This is now being something that's being promoted for the world to see, bro. This is an agenda that is in live and in full effect. These artists are literally working every single day, whether it's consciously or unconsciously. We reacted to a music group, a 90s music group, a rap group that literally didn't even notice that they were being puppeteered by their industry to promote demonic signs through their music videos, through their album covers. They didn't even realize it. They didn't even realize it, but they were just being puppeteered. Same thing like Lil Uzi. Lil Uzi has already participa participated in the emasculation of man agenda, wearing offset dresses and skirts and fucking off the shoulder bags like these and shit. Already participated in emasculating men, wearing finger uh, fingernail paints and everything like that. That's number one. Number two, over here with all of this demonic symbolism, doing some weird shit, talking about Lucifer. And let's not talk about the fact that we've already reacted to this video right here. But he literally says live on stage that he's bringing all of his fans to hell with him, bro. Listen to this shit. You guys haven't seen this video already? We reacted to it a while ago. But for those who haven't, listen to this, bro. My bad. Let me unmute this real quick. Spray something up real quick. Before everybody starts screaming and saying, oh, like I told y'all earlier, you motherfuckers entered the rapture. And if ain't nobody flying up to heaven right now, obviously all y'all motherfuckers going to hell. Right with me. So, let's get it. Oh, you already here. I'm so sorry. You can't get out. You're stuck. It's over. You heard the song a billion times and you didn't even know. That's f up, but I still love you. Hold on, let me explain something. The shit to me is crazy, bro. I speak to you guys about this same topic in every single video just so I could really bring home the fact that this is no longer something that's hidden. This is actually being hidden in plain sight. People are seeing it every day, but yet they are still blind to it. All of the people watching this video, I appreciate you guys for even taking the courage to step up and wake up. A lot of people who watch these videos, I know I'm not the only person making content like this, but I appreciate everyone who's out here waking up and noticing what the industry actually is. There are a lot of people who still don't even understand what, they don't even know what the Illuminati is. They don't even know what, what agendas they have in place. Everyone literally lives lives as it's being orchestrated for them, okay? People are living the lives that are being orchestrated for them. They are falling into the trap of this demonic industry. They are falling into the trap of social media. They're falling into the trap of self-hatred. They're falling into the trap of the emasculate, they're, they're falling into every single trap there is. With only fans and everything, bruh. Traps are being set in our society and people are falling right into it. Lil Uzi is a prime example of how these traps are being set in place. You have Playboy Cardi, Lil Uzi, all of these rage fucking rappers, Lil Yachty. 
they're all promoting the same demonic ass message, all right? This video is supposed to be a very, very quick video. But I have to let y'all know what's really going on. There should be no reason in the world why your boy is literally standing on stage looking like a fucking devil, my boy. Looking like a devil. He is no longer acting the role. He is now trying to be the role, bruh. He's literally trying to embody what the devil represents wholeheartedly. And that shit right there is kind of spooky. But on that note, I'm going to end this video here. Okay, if you guys did enjoy, make sure you leave a like down below. Subscribe to the Patreon linked in the description. I'm going to catch you on the next one, man. Peace.